Yeah, so this is Matthew Coons. He's here working, doing some work on all of these vouchered specimens that are here. So what exactly are you up to? Uh, right now I'm sampling all these fungi uh, for Hart Singer's Nanopore Pipeline. Um, and I'm about to finish my last plate, actually. So we're doing five plates, that's, or six plates. That's six times 96 samples. Whoa. Um, and we should have data for them all by the end of tomorrow when Hart gets back to California. He's running... Uh, the nanopore while he's in his car driving back to California. Oh my gosh. So how, so we got all these different mushrooms. How are we starting this process? What exactly are you doing? Uh, yeah, this is the first step in the barcoding process where we're sampling. Uh, and since we're using wet tissue, we're using a method where we're just swiping with individually wrapped uh, toothpicks. Okay, we, so they're sterile. They're or sterile, like, at least for other fungi. Because yeah, the yeah. primers that we use would eliminate plants or any other insect tissue yeah, or anything like they're that. they're pretty clean. And really what we're doing is just rubbing through the, the gills until we get just the tiniest amount of tissue on there. Nanopore we really need. We don't want actual physical tissue in the tubes. Wow. And this is the extraction buffer, so it's going to start lysing DNA out of the sample. So just a few seconds of... Uh, just wipe it in there. Uh, is there a liquid in there? Yes. So a little primer the primers look like this one has a little too much uh, material in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, this is the extraction buffer. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's pulling the DNA out into this solution, and then that will end up being our uh, PCR product after it gets run through the thermocycler with some other reagents. And you're keeping track of each one? Yeah, each one. Oh my gosh. There's 96 per plate. We've meticulously noted the, if you have a look at the uh, NAMA the vouchers, voucher, yeah. the reason the NAMA voucher number, yeah. and then Hart's made these stickers. Uh, okay, I've seen Steven putting them yeah, on. Yeah, Steven's got different stickers for Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where my sticker packet is. Yeah, here's the, here's the ones that, that Hart's using. So it's got the row number and then the position. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So, for instance, that's 12-6, so that's the sixth of these, so it's, wow. a, it's a really straightforward way. And it would it be easy that. to get mixed up and go, oh well, no. No, like I could toss this whole thing on the floor because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with the, the sharpie marks. Yeah, you really only have to drop one of these on the floor and uh, mix up your entire 96 sequences uh, to learn that you need some sort of indicator of, <laughs> yeah. what, of what you're doing. Wow. Yeah. So That's it's fascinating. Been, it's been mm. a great week in the gym. We've, we're going to learn a lot about our local fungi here. Yeah. Tons of undescribed stuff. A lot of it's being vouchered by NAMA. Um, yeah. A lot of it isn't because we don't have uh, species level IDs for them. And for the vouchering requirements, they, they want a species level ID to say for NAMA. For NAMA. But so so trying, unknown ones aren't welcome. Unknown spe not, um, specimens. We're vouchering our own specimens. So if they need further study, yeah, uh, we'll have we'll have the material. Yeah, but NAMA just wants ones that already have old names on them. Yeah, right? it's kind yeah. of going back to you know some old botany rules essentially. Yeah, uh, and that's just how herbaria operates. So while yeah, it makes sense. It, feels a little bit archaic since we are at the cutting edge of finding new species. Yeah. All these are great data points. So like even if something's been known and we sequenced it, uh, we'll have a data point. It grows in this area near Cispus and like everything's valuable at this point. Yeah. But, yeah. A lot to learn from this data. And yeah, heart is heart's the man. I mean, yeah, really putting all this together, well, putting all this stuff up, you know. It's a, it's I'm sure you're helping hour. out a ton. And, uh, yeah, I've done about two plates. Right on, Matthew. Thanks for your work. Yeah, Thanks for talking to me. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah.